Every year, landlords spend £4.5 billion cleaning and repairing rental properties. Well then, Mr Pike, another lovely day. Today, 29-year-old extreme cleaner Sean and his team are heading to Kent. Well, I wonder what this one's going to be like, Mr Pike. Probably as bad as what most of them are, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. They do about 200 total house clearances a year where vacated rental properties are found in a state. No job is ever too big, no matter what we're faced with. Sometimes we can't even get in the front door, can we? No. You literally kind of have to fight your way, fight in. Your way in so that you've got a little gap and, yeah, that's... you've just got to go for it, haven't you? Yeah, that's where we rub our hands together and say, yes, yes. this is going to be good. <laughs> Hiya. Hi. I'm Sean. Wendy, nice to meet you. Hi. And you. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Nice to meet you, Wendy. Hi, I'm Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Oh. Oh. Oh, got a nice aroma. Oh, it's, oh, it's horrible. Mm. Oh. It was pristine when they moved in here. The tenants have been living here for two years before they left a month ago. We rented the property to a young couple with a small child and thought we'd give them a chance to start making a go of things here. The relationship with the residents broke down. Wendy found the house vandalised three days after they'd moved out. Watch your step. The couple claimed the house was burgled after they'd gone. What's in here? Pasta. Was pasta. It's furry. So I think we're going to have to shave that one before we uh, <laughs> eat it. One of your five a day in there as well. Mm. Some of your greens. You lot are not going to go hungry today, are you? <laughs> no. It's just sort of hitting home that this is my property and it's been destroyed. Be careful, the banisters are gone. Yeah. Except for this one. It's heartbreaking, actually. Sean and his team have just two days to clear the three-bed house of all rubbish and belongings and make it ready for the decorators. Well, it's going to take us a while to clear all this. As the UK's population tops 65 million, the social care system is ever more strained. Across the country, people are falling through the cracks, with many unable to keep a habitable home. Hello. Step in Maxine and daughter Jasmine. Yes, we do. Former nursing assistant Maxine set up a business 12 years ago. Two years ago, she was joined by 22-year-old daughter, Jasmine. <clears throat> here we go, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, we're trying to get out of work. <laughs> and my mum's like, Jasmine, just get on with the job. You know, it's fine, it's just ants, or it's just spiders, it's just cobwebs. And... Oh. <laughs> You're making a spectacle of me now, Jasmine. Noir. You're making a spectacle of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> they are an extreme cleaning team who specialise in helping people who are struggling with daily life. I like to care and look after people who are vulnerable. I feel I understand what they're going through. Yeah, if, if we don't go, who, who's going to go and clean up for them? They're heading to a one-bed flat in Luton. The 54-year-old resident has been struggling since the breakup of his marriage. Good right. morning, Richard. I'll show you around. Thank you very much. <laughs> Richard, look at your toilet. I know. The light bulb doesn't work. So we have to clean the toilet in darkness? Well, sort of. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ah, oh. Richard, how long have you lived in this flat? About 20 years. About 20 years? Yeah. Yes, please, yeah. Ooh. Richard's fridge hasn't been cleaned in over three years. With 8,000 bacteria per square centimetre, the salad drawer is the dirtiest place in the fridge. There's been a lot of leakages. Oh, yeah. And a lot of stuff. That can go. Brussels. And the Brussels. I smell Brussels. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'll open that window. Oh. <sighs> the smell is just licking me. Oh, it's killing me a little. Richard, what is this? 
Lots of spillages. <gasps> and you use it regular? Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's shocking, but... Oh! That's what the old depression gets to you. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Wow. My life took a, a turn for the worst when my family situation broke down. I lost a lot of self-esteem and respect. And basically, I didn't really take care of my home. Oh, I'll have to sit down, cos I'll get out of breath pretty easy. Richard, that's a work of art. Definitely a designer one. How many cigarettes do you think you've got here? Probably 2,000. 2,000 cigarettes? Yeah, it's not very nice. You'll have to make sure you yeah. wear gloves and a mask for that. Bye, Richard. Bye. Bye-bye. I am sad for people like Richard because it's, it's a mental health issue and he's stuck where he is. Maxine and Jasmine have just three days to sanitise the kitchen, clear all the cigarette ash and rubbish and make it habitable again. What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no, really, what is that? Spit, I think. What? The mountain of spit. Right. Spit, like, dries up. It doesn't... OK, Jasmine, it's dry because it's solidified. It's gone solid. It's either that or that you clean up. Which one? <laughs> I'm not cleaning it up. The cigarette and spit mountains will have to wait until later. Jasmine, get a bin liner ready, please. The priority is to tackle the bacteria-infested kitchen. Are you ready, Jasmine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 ah! I can see it Ah! The lid's come off 2014! Maxine uses industrial disinfectant, which kills bacteria, fungus and viruses within minutes of making contact. Oh, tie that back up now, Jess. <laughs> That's chicken bones and spit on it. Ah! He was so depressed that he's just spat on top of his rubbish. There you go, look. There you go. Solid. Wow. I think our job is not just about being a cleaner. We have been social workers at times. We are like social workers. We've encountered all sorts of situations. The best part of my job is making a difference to someone's life. We've had examples where we have got people home from hospitals and they can come home. We've turned someone's life around. When people are in need, we, we, we are their saviours and we come and we help them. I can see you in your shining armour and your white horse. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> in Bedfordshire, our sisters Yvonne and Angela, who've been an extreme cleaning team for nearly two decades, specialising in deep cleans. 19 long years in business. God, does it feel like that long to you? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't trust anybody more than your sister. I know what you're going to do straight away. You know what I'm going to do straight I'm just away. Doing the job. Not saying we don't want to kill each other at times. <laughs> <laughs> They're on their way to a property following a neighbour's call for help. All we know is up to now we've got a bed set, so it really can't so, be that No, bad. hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, no. Gosh, that smelly Ange. There's actually no floor space, Ange, whatsoever. We are walking three inches above floor now. Oh, there's rotting, mouldy food on that. I believe that's the mattress. Oh, my life. Look at the bed. There's a sandwich, there's sausages, cigarette ends. This is certainly a single guy's apartment. Yes, yeah, so I don't think I he... can't imagine him wanting to invite a lady back, can you? <laughs> Right then, all right, black bags at the ready, let's do this. Let's get ready to roll. Despite all the rubbish, the sisters believe they can clear the room and tackle the mattress in just eight hours. Uh, there is a carpet underneath here. I just cannot believe how much filth and debris there is in one room. He's got himself in a state, in a rut, 
and, and this is what's acceptable now in his life. It, it really, really is sad. It soon becomes apparent the tenant isn't living here alone. Oh, Jesus Christ, Angela, what are they? Are they cockroaches? Yeah, they are. They're not moths. What the I've not hell seen are them they? Before. And they're all crawling behind you. Look at them all crawling up the wardrobe. These aren't any old cockroaches. They're German cockroaches. Oh, look at them now, Angela. The fastest breeding species in the UK, one German cockroach and her offspring could produce 300,000 roaches in a year. Ah. Oh, my God. Look at the creatures. They're all just gone up the back of the radiator. This is grim. This is unbelievable, man. Beyond grim. What is this on the sink? That's sick. Don't. That's, that is. It's sick, I'm telling you. Oh, God. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> no. Across Britain, a band of specialist cleaners is stepping in to help those most in need. In Luton, deep cleaners, sisters Angela and Yvonne, have spent the last five hours dealing with rancid, rotten food and a plague of German cockroaches. Unbelievable. Every time we lift something off the floor, there's more German cockroaches crawling everywhere. Bye. We will kill the little beggars. With the flat finally clear, there's one last job they can't put off any longer. Oh, the mattress of doom. I'd rather sleep on a piece of cardboard in the street than lie on that. I know. There's only one thing up to this job, an industrial carpet cleaner. Out of a mattress, that's the worst I've ever seen. Normally, you see that when you clean a nightclub carpet. You'll get black sludge like that. We excrete 23 gallons of sweat and shed a pound of skin into our mattresses every year. So they're the perfect breeding ground for bacteria and mites. It's going white, Ange, look! I never thought we'd get that, even anything like that colour. <laughs> Britain's dirtiest mattress is no more. No. <laughs> it's taken eight hours to remove 22 bags of rubbish and leave it cockroach free. Clean sheet. Two nice clean pillows. Nice bed. A job well done. Let's go. Let's go. The hard work's been done yeah. now. Let's hope he looks after it now and he keeps can it clean. He can maintain it. It's got to. Looked after. It's got to. It's got to. So, so fingers crossed. <laughs> On the other side of Luton, after six hours cleaning, Maxine and Jasmine have barely scratched the surface. Well, the ash is going to go out my nose. The ashtray next to Richard's favourite chair hasn't been seen in over three years. Oh, God, it's solid! <laughs> wow! It's moving! <laughs> it's moving! <laughs> Look at this! That's wow. the biggest ashtray I've ever seen. Look at this! Wow! That's his ashtray! I've never seen nothing like that before. Unbelievable. Oh, just... After removing over 2,000 cigarette ends and 14 bags of rubbish, there's one job that can't be put off any longer. It's feces, urine, it's everything just left on it for years and years and years. Ooh. There's some things that I like to do and other things I have to do. <sighs> Yeah, you do need a strong stomach, and I think the best learning curve is to be sick quite early on. Um, especially if you're wearing a mask, you, you don't ever do it again. Not even looking at it, the smell alone. Mm. Looking at it sometimes for me makes me sick. There was a defrosted chicken in the sink, and uh, I thought, not a problem. But once I stirred the water, the smell came up and bit me. And believe me, I thought I'd got a strong stomach, but that day my stomach just fell on my floor. It was bad. Loving the teamwork. 
In Kent, it's day two of the extreme clean for Sean and his team, clearing and cleaning a trashed three-bed house. How you doing, Danny? With the previous tenants long gone, it's down to Sean and his team to dispose of the two tons of possessions left behind. It's a strange feeling going through someone else's belongings and, and to think that they've left everything that they, they own and just moved on. It's like they were here yesterday and they're just gone. Watch this step. As the boys tackle the broken furniture, upstairs, Kaylee and Danielle take on the graffiti. You pull that come off a lot. Is that pen? That looks like that tip, doesn't yeah. it? This doesn't come off so well. Uh. They've removed over 40 bags of rubbish and a van full of unwanted belongings. I have cleaned this place to an inch of its life. <laughs> Job done. Two days ago, Wendy's house was a wreck. Now it's ready to be repaired and redecorated so new tenants can make it their home. Good morning, Wendy. How morning. are you? Nervous. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Come on in. OK. Wow. <laughs> I'm gobsmacked. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Bit different. I just can't believe it. Here is your oh, kitchen. Wow. <laughs> That's a bit different. All the fat and the grease oh. all, over, all over the cupboards. Well, I had that smell, didn't it? Oh. it had, like rotting food in here. It was just disgusting. And... I could probably have dinner in here now, couldn't I? In fact, funny you should say that. <laughs> oh my God. I decided to give it a spruce up. That is absolutely amazing. You must have some magic stuff you use. Elbow grease. Elbow grease. Yeah. That's the ingredient. Well, my faith in human nature has gone up and there. That's, and that's what we're here to yeah, do. Yeah, it really has. She was really pleased, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Our main task was to make her happy and feel more comfortable in the property. And uh, seeing the reaction on her face, I think we've done that. <laughs> Group hug! <laughs> <laughs> Sean and his team may have finished their clean, but extreme cleaners Maxine and daughter Jasmine have still a few more hours before the end of their epic three-day oh. job. What we're taking off the carpet is a hard layer of filth, years of filth. After two nights away, Richard's home to see his flat that hadn't been cleaned in over three years. Come on, Richie. Come on, son. Come on, Richie. Let's have another one. <laughs> when Maxine arrived, the flat was suffocating under dirt, cigarette ash, and that mountain of spit. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wow! <laughs> Perfect. And you kept the other table as well? Yes. It, it's immaculate, my antique radio. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. It is fantastic. Do you want to have a sit down, Richard? I'll do that. What do you reckon? Oh, God, it's so comfy. Yeah. It's brilliant. <laughs> this little ashtray. Yeah. It became the mountain. Yes, it, it certainly did. When it gets to what height do you bin it? When the fag ash and fags get to... I've got to do it. Yeah. Every day, at least. One of the biggest challenges was Richard's loo, but even that is sparkling. Oh, my God, look <laughs> at it! That is absolutely wonderful, perfect clean. Richard, I had to clean my lip orange. Oh, you got my size <laughs> glasses. Yeah. Oh, bless you. <laughs> It's taken 26 hours of hard work, three bottles of disinfectant, and two of industrial cleaner, but the place is as good as new. Oh, marvellous. Maxine, absolutely marvellous. Do you remember the first time we went into the fridge? I'll never forget that smell. <laughs> Take a look now. Wow, spotless. Are you pleased with this job? Absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to make a promise to you. Yeah. I'm going to keep it clean that way. Promise. Brilliant. That's wonderful. I promise. Oh, that's good. That is really good. I'm glad for that. You take care and God look after you. yourself now. Yeah. God okay. bless you. OK. Bye-bye, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Job well done. I'm feeling great. 
Uh, I feel absolutely wonderful, I really do. I have faith in Richard. I'm looking forward now to get my life back on track. Things can only get better, basically. My client is happy. And, yeah, uh, next job. <laughs> Next time, oh my God. Maxine and Jasmine take on one of their biggest hoarder jobs yet. It's to the ceiling. And George and Dino Ooh, yes. have a difficult clean-up after a dead body is discovered. I think that's gone right too, you know. Yeah, we'll have to see.